It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And today we got a special episode as we go back into the archives, into the vault, and dig up some artifacts. Uh, today we're looking at stuff pertaining to Archie's Weird Mysteries. Now, Archie's Weird Mysteries was an Archie cartoon that ran in the late 90s. Uh, it ran briefly here in the U.S. I think it had a longer run in Canada. And then in the U.S., I think Fox uh, brought it back. Uh, but we at Archie, we did uh, a comic book adaptation, a tie-in series, uh, called Archie's Weird Mysteries. Uh, I think every most of the run was written by Paul Castiglia. I know I wrote a couple of stories along the way. And uh, I did the art starting with issue two. In fact, uh, issue three is my very first published cover, uh, which currently hangs in a place of honor at the Kubert School where I teach. Um, this is a, a trade collection of some of those issues, some of our better stories. Uh, this trade, I think it's long out of print, but if you ever, if you ever see it, I recommend picking it up. Uh, so we did the comic book, which ran, uh, it ran about 24 issues or so, is Archie's Weird Mysteries. Then after the show went off the air, they, they uh, changed the name of the book to Archie's Mysteries. It wasn't weird anymore. Um, and then uh, I think it ran until issue 33 or 34. Now here, in this uh, file, in this secret file... I have a lot of reference pertaining to the cartoon that this series was based on. Um, actually, there's a lot of reference here in general, including um, this is some of the, the character sheets that I was given. This is a character sheet for Chuck. You can see a few different Chucks. Uh, here is a character sheet for some of the background characters. Um, anything that that you see in an animation uh, production um, needs to be designed. You, know, you don't just animate something. Everything needs to be designed, no matter how unimportant it is. And you'll see uh, that as we go through. So there's Archie uh, for a size reference. And then what we have are a bunch of generic students. Uh, I would use some of these guys, not only in the Weird Mysteries uh, comic, but also in just the backgrounds of the uh, regular Archie stories. Here's some of the, some of the uh, uh, sort of B-level Archie casts. Uh, we have Midge there at the end, uh, including their height. Uh, Chuck, Nancy, uh, Smithers... Mr. Lodge, 6'2". That's pretty tall, Mr. Lodge. Uh, and Archie, 5'9". Here is Archie, Hot Dog, Pop Tate, who is also 5'9". And Dr. Beaumont. Now, Dr. Beaumont was supposed to be the... Um, their sort of Dr. Strange, their sort of mentor in all things weird in, uh, in Archie's Weird Mysteries. Uh, we used him sparingly in the comic book. I, I don't remember if he stopped being in the, uh, in, on the show. Um, I didn't see all the episodes. Uh, but in the comic, we only used him, uh, not a lot of times. Uh, here is a, an expression sheet for Hot Dog. Jughead's Dog, Hot Dog. All of the characters were slightly redesigned for the, uh, cartoon. Uh, here's another size comparison sheet. We see Archie, Big Ethel, Moose, who's only 6'1", I would have thought larger. Uh, Mr. Weatherby, six feet tall, Ms. Grundy, and Professor Flute Snoop. There's some hot dog poses. Uh, here we have generic girl, uh, student at number eight turnarounds. And uh, here we have another, another generic, another pair of generic students. The guy I would use a lot. I used him a lot in uh, in backgrounds. 
Now here is Archie's body construction. So these are the basic shapes used to draw Archie. And you can see the proportion scale used for animated Archie. And he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heads tall, which is kind of uh, realistic proportions. In the comics, we tend to make him um, uh, six, six and a half heads. When I'm drawing realistic people, they're... Uh, their uh, eight heads. Uh, here's the main cast, Archie, Veronica, Betty, Reggie, Jughead, and Dilton. And those are the clothes, you, you know anim how animation goes. Uh, the characters wear the same clothes all the time so that they can uh, be cycled through. Here's some more generic students. Again, I would use some of these guys. There's some uh, head turnarounds, expressions for Dr. Beaumont. I only drew him a couple of times, but I remember he was pretty fun to draw. And there is a front view of Dr. Beaumont. Now we have shots of Dilton, back views of Dilton. Now this isn't from the show, this is just my regular reference for Miss Beasley, the cafeteria worker at Archie, at uh, Riverdale High. Uh, here's more generic student. Uh, there's Betty. There's a side view of Betty. Um, now that I think about it as, as I drew them, and in the first few issues of Archie's uh, Weird Mysteries, we did try to replicate the look of the show as much as possible. Um, later on, we just drew them as normal Archie characters. Here's Veronica's purse now, uh, with a, a hand in there for size comparison. Like I said, they, they, anything you see in a cartoon gets a, a sheet. There's Archie's car keys with his hand again for size. There's Archie's pen. So let's get to some of the more interesting stuff. There's some more background people. Logo for the show. Let me use that. Let me make my own weird mystery covers. There is Mr. Weatherby. And again, anything, all props, no matter how, how minor you might think they are. There are test tubes. There's Jughead's backpack. And you can see specifically Jughead's backpack. Archie's notebook paper. Again, everything got a sheet. There's the lock for Archie's locker. There is Archie's laptop. Now this gets a little more interesting. Uh, Archie's car. A detail of it with the open door. There is Archie's car. This I would use even drawing the regular Archie um, Archie comics because the, the car was more or less the same. It was, it was always supposed to be a, a mid to late 60s Ford Mustang. These are some more generic people. There we have it, a delivery man, lady, Archie's car again. Uh, Generic guy. Um, that's a that's a regular some regular Archie reference for the comics. Keep the car again. There's an exterior shot, and some of these were actually used for in the in the cartoon. Um, you would see this uh, as an establishing shot before they were inside, and this is this specifically is the school gym. This is the Riverdale High gym. Uh, this is Jughead's living room. Now, this also I would use for reference in drawing the regular comics. I mean, it was just too good a piece of reference to just use on Weird Mysteries. In fact, I would use this stuff even long after Weird Mysteries went uh, off the air. Uh, or, or the comic was canceled. There is uh, Professor Flute's new expressions. More Archie expressions. Uh, 
Luke Smoot again. There is Reggie, a few different poses for Reggie. Let's see. A few different expressions for Ethel. And these, again, these were used by the studio, uh, by their animators, the generic person, otherwise known as student number 10. Policeman. You know, I always felt that the Archie Cash should have an established uh, police character. Given Archie's antics, uh, they should involve. There's Citizen A. Uh, Citizen B. Uh, this is Coach Clayton reference from the comics. Much of this looks like Stan Goldberg. Uh, there is... Oh, this was reference for... This guy, the Jinx. What was his name? I forget his name. Jinx Malloy, that was it. I was drawing a Jinx Malloy story and they gave me that. I think this is another Jinx Malloy story. Yeah. There's Veronica from the show. Uh, Veronica, I will say, if you ever catch episodes of Archie's Weird Mysteries, uh, I think they might be on YouTube. Veronica and there's Chuck. From Weird Mysteries. Veronica had the worst voice. Jughead too. Jughead didn't have a good voice. Veronica's voice went through my, my ears like a nail. There's a mi milkshake. There's a pile of burgers. So what else do we have in here? There's a cordless phone. Well, this was the late 90s, so. There's the school bell. Uh, more Chuck. A lot of Chuck today. Nancy. Nancy Harris. How many of you knew Nancy's last name? Uh, so there's some more stuff like Archie's locker. So here is Reggie's refrigerator. How specific is that? There is the seatbelt in Archie's car. So a lot of stuff. Again, more props. Archie's car interior. Oh, there's Mr. Weatherby's office. Again, I would use this in uh, all the stories. Uh, this is a fashion page from the regular Archie comics. The exterior of Riverdale High, the doors. This is Archie's Mustang. This is from the regular comics. This is a reference given to me. Uh, more of... Dr. Beaumont. So there's a whole lot. That's Flutie. Oh, the Lodge Mansion. Now, the Lodge Mansion, they really went all out on that. So a lot of this wouldn't translate well for the comics. So I couldn't use a whole lot of that just because it's, it's a little too busy. But so these are the, uh, this is, this is actually a big folder of Archie reference. Ooh, here are the write-ups on the different Archie characters. This is from the comics. And this is a write-up on the minor characters, or minor, lesser characters, the B cast. There's some reference on Coach Cleats. All right. Uh, oh, that is a special piece of reference given to me by the great High Eisman, who actually gave me the, uh, the, he was one of my teachers at the Kubert School, and he gave me the uh, my, the Archie assignment that got me uh, my first Archie gig. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, please, if you did, please click like. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next time. And as always, keep drawing. Thank you.